Okay, here we go again, all right. I'm gonna start with a quarter inch rod, and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure the rod's end is out, because that's what you burn with, and the other end has no rods in it okay. for safety, so it doesn't burn up your handle. Oh, God. You put it into the collet, snug it down, and then you check your flow, and I have the butterfly off. You were just able to see that come out of there. Just a poof. Yeah. You won't now. Yeah. That's just dust from their factory. Okay, got it. So I'm all set to go. So what I'm going to do is I have a little more experience than you. Yeah. So I'm not going to put on some other safety gear, but I'll, I will will borrow your glasses. Okay. But we definitely suggest wearing safety gear. I'll take those. Thank you. Should I put some Travis, sunglasses Travis? on or something? No, you, you won't be. Will you hold that, Travis, so I don't drop it on the ground? And we don't need sunglasses, why? Because you're not welding, you're cutting. So it doesn't have the arc that hurts your eyes. Okay. Super duper. You got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna come over to the igniter. The igniter. So we have a battery pack here yeah. with welding leads to a striker plate. Mm -hmm. Well, all you simply do is make sure you have a little bit of flow, you can hear it, or a lot of flow. I'm gonna dial it back a little bit, and I'm just gonna gently rock this back and forth. I think I'm out of juice on that one. And I'm gonna simply Keep the tip in. Easy. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Cuts it like butter. Good Lord. Good Lord. 